Managing pending orders. Sometimes you may need to modify a pending order, set a new activation price, change stop levels, or its expiration time. To modify a pending order, click Modify or Delete in its context menu on the tray tab. Almost all the fields of a pending order that you fill in during order placing can be modified except for the volume, fill policy, and its comment. After you enter the new parameters, click Change to make your modifications. Now, just keep in mind, if parameters are set incorrectly, the Modify button will then become inactive. All right, so let's show you how to make some modifications to some existing orders that I have working. Uh, this is already under the assumption as well that you know how to place trades, you know how to place working orders. So therefore, you have working orders in the Trade tab within your toolbox. All right, so you can see here that I have a few different working orders for mini NASDAQ as well as the mini S&P, and I believe that's the uh, Canadian dollar, or actually that's the Australian dollar. All right, so let's say I want to change the order here that I'm looking to sell one contract on a stop at 41.45 and a half for this mini NASDAQ December contract. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on the order. You can see that it's highlighted. And I'm going to go ahead and right click. And you can see now there's a modification or modify or delete menu option within the context menu itself. I'm going to left click. And now what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a trade dialog box. And you can see currently the modify button is grayed out. And that's because I haven't made any changes just yet. As mentioned, you can pretty much change everything except the volume of the contract. So I'm not going to be able to change this from a one lot to a two lot. I uh, can't change the fill policy as well. And you cannot edit or make any changes to make any existing comments that you initially inputted when you inputted the order to begin with. But otherwise, you can change the price, stop wise, the expiration, expiration date, take profit, stop limit price, and so forth. All right, so in this case, I'm just going to change the sell stop from 48.45.50 to let's say 45.43 even. You can use the up and down arrows. You can type in the price, whichever is easier for you. So let's just use the example of typing in the price instead of using the arrows. So just type in 48, uh, let's just say 43 even. All right, so that should be a good price. And how you know it's a good price is because the modify button is active. All right, now let me give you an example. If let's say I wanted to place a sell stop at uh, 48.56 even. All right, watch what happens. See how that modify become that modify button becomes disabled? It's because 48.56 is an invalid sell stop price because the market's currently trading at a lower price. Uh, so again, you can't place a sell stop above the current market price. So if that modify button is grayed out, that means something is wrong. In this case, I have an invalid sell stop price. So now I'm going to go ahead and just choose a price that's valid. Uh, let's go back to 48.43. And now you can see that is valid. Hit the modify button. And now you can see that order has been changed. All right, so that's pretty much how you modify trades. Very simple, very easy to do. Let's give you one more demonstration. We'll, do on the mini, uh, we'll modify the mini S&P buy limit this time. So you can see buy limit at 21.37 even. All right, I'm going to left click on the order. You can see that it's highlighted. Right click, modify or delete. Trade ticket pops open. Modify is grayed out because I haven't made any changes yet. Now, let me, I am curious, I want to see, now in this case, this is one thing I want to point out is you can place a limit order on the wrong side of the market. And, you know, it's because it's only, the stop order is only going to work that way. Uh, let's see where the market's trading at. So it's at 21.44. Let me actually see if I place a buy limit, let's say at 21.46. I'm wondering if the modification will, will gray out. So you can see that it doesn't. All right, so that's uh, something that you have to be mindful of is it does, it will allow you to place a limit order on the wrong side of the market. What's going to happen is basically you're just going to get filled immediately at the current market price. All right, so let's just see if, if that, that actually happens. I'm just curious. I want to go and try it. Because right now, if you notice, the market is currently trading at 21.44. This is an existing buy limit order. So if I were to change this to 21.46, what we're trying to do now is place a buy limit above the current market price, uh, which is not a valid order type. So let's see if it converts the order to a stop order or if it actually fills us right away. All right, so it actually filled the order right away. So now you can see the position is filled at 21.44. So that was a good demonstration. I mainly just wanted to show that just to show what the result was. If you placed a limit order on the wrong side of the market, it will not automatically convert it to a stop order to make it a valid order. Instead, it will actually execute you immediately. So just be very careful with that. So let's go back and let's place a, let's close out this position real quick. Let's place another working order for the mini S&P. We'll do the same example of a buy limit and we'll just do it, uh, let's say, at 21.42 even. All right, that's a valid order. 
You can see the order is now working here. You can see the buy limit at 42. I'm going to left click on the order, right click, modify or delete within the context menu. And then we're going to make sure this time we select the, the valid order type. All right, so you know, you're going to have to know as a trader what order types go where uh, to avoid these mistakes. Uh, you definitely don't want to accidentally close out a position or place a limit order on the wrong side of the market. That's, that's going to cost you a few bucks if you tend to do that a couple times. So just be mindful of that. Get, a better, get an understanding of what, what order types can go where. In this case, this is a valid order type because the price is 2141. It's a buy limit. Market's trading at 44 quarter. That's below the current market price. Hit the modify button, and now you can see the order has been changed to 2141. And that's pretty much how you manage pending orders within MetaTrader 5. Very easy, very simple. Pretty much a lot of your work will be done within the trade tab in your toolbox. If you do have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team available around the clock. 312-893-6400, extension 1. Gets you transferred directly to our help desk. Otherwise, visit our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Please subscribe to the channel, show your support. Otherwise, thank you for listening in and happy trading.